Question number 161. The problem of vitamin A deficiency in poor countries can be overcome by using. And the options are golden rice, transgenic maize, transgenic tomato and BT brinjal. And the correct answer to this question is option number 1, golden rice. Golden rice is genetically modified in order to produce enhanced amount of beta carotene of beta carotene which is normally produced in rice. Beta carotene is converted into vitamin A when metabolized by human body to combat vitamin A deficiency. So the problem of vitamin A deficiency can be overcome by using golden rice. Now let's discuss rest of the options. The next option is transgenic maize and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because this crop are resistant to pests and to herbicides. The next option is transgenic tomato and this is an incorrect option. Transgenic tomato such as flavor saver have a long shelf life and the last option is Bt brinjal and this is an incorrect option. Bt brinjal is also a genetically modified crop but it is banned in India. It is also a genetically modified crop. So the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 162. The two polypeptide chains of humulin are linked together by and the options are disulfide bridges, peptide bonds, glycosidic bonds and the last option is ionic bonds. Humulin or mature insulin is a small protein comprising two polypeptide chains that are linked together by disulfide bonds. So the correct answer to this question is disulfide bridges as you can see here. This is mature insulin and it has disulfide bridges. Let's discuss rest of the options. Next option is peptide bonds and this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Peptide bonds are covalent bonds that links two consecutive amino acids. So this is an incorrect option. The next option is glycosidic bonds and this is an incorrect option because glycosidic bonds join a carbohydrate molecules to another group or carbohydrate molecule. And the last option is ionic bonds and this cannot be a correct answer to our question. This ionic bonds are primary interactions occurring in ionic compounds. So the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 163. ND is a transgenic. Options are sheep, cow, dog, monkey. And the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Monkey. Andy is a transgenic monkey. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option is sheep and this is an incorrect option because Polly and Molly are transgenic sheep. The next option is dog and this is an incorrect option. Rupee is a transgenic dog. The last option is cow and this is an incorrect option. Rosie is a transgenic cow. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 164. All of the following are desirable qualities of transgenic plants except and the options given are option number 1. Crops more tolerant to drought. Option number 2 enhanced nutritional value option number three pest resistant crops and option number four early exhaustion of fertility of soil option number one two and three that is crops more tolerant to drought enhanced nutrition value and pest resistant crops are the desirable qualities of transgenic plants so these cannot be the correct answer but option number four Early exhaustion of fertility of soil is not a desirable quality of transgenic plants. So this is a correct answer to our question because transgenic plants prevent early exhaustion of fertility of soil. They prevent 
early exhaustion of fertility of soil. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 165. Thermostable enzymes TAC and PFU isolated from thermophilic bacteria are and the options are dehydrogenases, DNA polymerases, DNA ligases and the last option is restriction endonucleases. During denaturation, step of PCR or polymerase chain reaction, denaturation at high temperature, TAC and PFU are DNA polymerases. These are thermostable DNA polymerases used for DNA amplification in PCR. So the correct answer to this question is option number 2, TAC and PFU isolated from thermophilic bacteria are DNA polymerases. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option is dehydrogenases and this is an incorrect option. Dehydrogenases are enzymes which catalyze oxidation reduction reactions involving transfer of electrons or hydrogen ion from one molecule to other. The next option is DNA ligases and this is an incorrect option. DNA ligases considered as molecular glue are used to link DNA fragments. The last option is restriction endonucleases and this is an incorrect option. Restriction endonucleases are enzymes which are considered as chemical scissors in molecular biology. These are considered as molecular scissors whereas DNA ligases are chemical or molecular glue. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's discuss our next question. 